What's up guys, today we're gonna learn about how to calculate the area of a triangle. Alright, let's get straight to it. Here is the formula for finding the area of a triangle. Base times height divided by 2. We'll kick it off with a couple of examples and then we'll try to visualize why the area of a triangle is half of base times height. Alright, we've got a triangle like this. What is the base here? Well, it would be 4 centimeters. And what is the height here? It would be 3 centimeters. So what's the area then? Well, using the given formula, it would be 3 times 4 over 2, which is 12 over 2, resulting in 6 centimeters squared. Notice here that for area, we say unit squared. So if we were measuring in centimeters, we would say centimeters squared. Or, for example, meters squared if we were measuring in meters. That was easy, right? Well, let's try another example. How do you get the area of this triangle? Well, the base is 6. So 6 times the height? Hmm, is the height 3 or 4? Well, 3 centimeters is the length of a side. But in this scenario, 3 centimeters is not the height. The height can be found by starting at the base and measuring all the way up to the highest point in the triangle, assuming that the base is level with the floor. So in this case, the height is 4 centimeters. So if we use our formula again and plug in our numbers, we would get 6 times 4 divided by 2 which equals 12 centimeters squared. Easy stuff. Okay, so let's bring back that first example that we covered. We said earlier on that the area of a triangle is the base times height divided by two. Let's think about this for a second. Why would we divide by two in the end to get that area of a triangle? Well, base times height in this scenario would give you the area of a rectangle only that in a rectangle we would generally say length times width. But if you got the area of a rectangle, you would notice that this area is more than the area of the triangle that we are trying to find. In fact, the area of the rectangle has an added triangle's amount of area included in it. And if you flip this triangle back and forth, you'll realize that doing base times height gives you the area of a rectangle which is exactly two of the triangles that we're trying to find. Since it's exactly double the area of the triangle that we're trying to find, what we need to do is divide by two and we would get the area for just the one triangle that we were originally interested in. This is why we do base times height divided by two to get that area of a triangle. We can show a similar thing with the second triangle that we used in our examples. This imaginary height line over here helps us to divide up this triangle into two separate triangles. If you do base times height here, you'd be getting the area of this entire rectangle. And if you think about it, this extra space here is the same as this triangle. And this space over here is the same as this triangle. So again, by the time you do base times height, you've calculated the rectangle that would be exactly double the area of the triangle in question, which is why we would do our divided by two in order to get exactly the area of the triangle only. Good, so that's it for the area of triangles and we will see you in the next video.